We join you from Boone High School in Orlando, Florida, as the Golden Hurricane getting ready for quarterfinal action coming up on Friday in the American Athletic Conference Tournament, joined by head coach Frank Athan. What do you try to accomplish this day before your first game? You know, we've had some really good work prior to coming up here, and I think today is just some refreshing, uh, some things we want to do of ourselves, because we don't know our opponent is, so we, don't, we won't do a walkthrough until this afternoon, later this afternoon. Uh, 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 with our opponent's stuff, but we just want to worry about us, refreshing some things offensively, um, press attacks and stuff like that, just to kind of give our guys, you know, just get them moving a little bit. By this time of year, if they don't get it, if they don't have it, <laughs> you know, you, yeah. you're in trouble. So, right. you're, and your team has it, obviously, played so very well. Uh, so it's brushing up and just cleaning up and that sort of thing, right? Yeah, and that's it. I mean, we, we don't need to, you know, uh, we want them to get, get him moving, but uh, this is not going to be a, a contact. Uh, you know, aggressive type practices. Uh, it's all about just getting them moving. You know, we're going to get some shots up and and, uh, and and refresh our minds a little bit about some things that we need to clean up within our offense. And not playing on Thursday is an advantage, obviously, but it also gives guys time to heal a little bit. And Sterling yeah. Taplin, obviously, is at the top of that list. Yes, exactly. And Sterling and Quan and Martins, all those guys got a little bumps and bruises we got to get through. And and that's been beneficial to having this time off and get, and actually, you know, Sterling hasn't practiced, you know, so uh, he's been doing some just some light shooting. Uh, same thing with Quan, he hasn't practiced either. So Martins is gone, but uh, those two guys we've kind of kept out because they got some injuries that they just need some healing. And you're in a situation now where you get ready for a Friday game. You hope to win three games in three days, yeah. but you do have to take it game by game. What's the approach? It, exactly that, you know, just game by game. You know, focus right now on either Memphis or USF. We'll know later on this afternoon who we play, uh, but we can't you, we can't look beyond that. I think that's our focus is, is getting our minds ready to, do, to, to compete for that game, and then, you know, then we'll get ready for the next game, and, and I think that's the way we've got to attack it. All right, Coach, good luck. Thank you, Bruce. After practice, the Hurricane learned their opponent would be the Memphis Tigers on Friday afternoon as Memphis defeated USF in the first round. Memphis head coach Tubby Smith had this to say about Tulsa against Memphis coming up on Friday afternoon. Uh, it's a, uh, when I, you know, those games, when you think back, I'll have to go back and watch film, but I know um, at our place we really, you know, we played well, shot the ball well, and but there, you know, they made the run in the second half. We kept, we would get it close, but I was very impressed with how um, they controlled the tempo. And then their matchup zone gave us problems, um, especially late game. And, and Frank, eighth, you know, with that matchup zone, they, they do. They create a lot of, a lot of problems for us. We, you know, we did some things the first time we played against them that, that was new, but they made the adjustments in the second game, and, and that's one of the reasons they were able to beat us.